Okay, I'm bored, you're bored, let's get this over with. I tried to record this so many times and not really like it why I did. So, let's just get this over with here. <clears throat> yes, Deku's actually going to be a werewolf here, but he's gonna actually going to be turned. And with this, since werewolf lore is so not always concrete, I'm actually going to be doing some a lot of different things here. Before I, we start, I'd like, like to give a shout out to... King Majin Majin, who actually gave me the inspiration to do this. Because, yeah, I looked at his and I was like, huh, I was a little nice to Azuku, wasn't I? Heck, I didn't give him no struggles, no things to overcome, none of that. I just gave him the power, but uh, what's, the, what's power without a little struggle? What Don't you think? Yeah, I'm going to have a little struggle a little bit. Just a little, just nothing too serious. Deku is actually going to be turned into a werewolf when he's 10. In which everything happens as per canon. Until he actually starts running away from Bakugo and his goons. Headed straight into a forest. Which as soon as he finds out that they're gone. He's lost. And yeah, it's gotten dark. And... He hears a snap of a twig, in which, sorry about that, either way, yeah, he's a snap of a twig, but before he can turn around to see what it is, he gets jumped and blacks out. He wakes up and finds himself in a hospital room and with Inko just, st st just sitting down sleeping until, yeah, Deku wakes her up. She jolts, awaken, just hugs him, asking him why he was there, what, why didn't he call, why didn't he text, anything. But Jack, he, doesn't, he doesn't even know what happened to him. Which the doctor actually shows up and tells him that, yeah, you got attacked by a wolf. And luckily, uh, Mr. Takashi was there to actually uh, help. Like, who? And enters. Yeah, Takashi. I know, I know. Just roll with it. At least for now. Don't worry. <clears throat> what is yeah, uh, lucky for you, I was just passing through, but you should be a lot more careful when you decide to go for a stroll in the woods. You don't want want the bear by wolf to finish the job, now would you? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, no need to thank me. As he just walks out, Deku, he's all sorts of confused, but then he notices the bandages on his sides. Oh, so, uh, I'm good, right? I don't have any rabies or anything. From what we can tell, no, but we would like to keep you overnight. To, just to, you know, double check. Uh, okay. When Deku goes to right to sleep, it's a normal dream. He's just thinking about, just dreaming about all the times he, he being a hero, everyone loving him, Bongo being his friend. Until. Dream takes a turn in which he goes down the alley and finds himself in this weird mountainous forest just just all alone. It's all misty and mysterious and Deku doesn't know what to really say. That is until he hears a snap of a twig. This time he sees a wolf looking back at him. He's about to run away, but then he, you know, the wolf isn't moving towards him at all. It's just staring. Deku, he's like, I don't know whether I should trust you or not, but this is a dream after all. As he just inches closer and closer towards it, he's just standing there looking at him. He's like, you're not going to... Why would I hurt you? Wait, you can talk? Of course I can talk, boy. You... 
You were just too naive. Too passive. Uh, so who are you? For now, call me Alpha. What? I am your Alpha, and you my Beta. Do as I say, and nothing bad will happen. I... Uh... Who are you, and, and where are you? I... I... Uh... No need to fear. All you have to do is know that I am the boss. You follow my orders when I give them to you. Now, you can wake up now. Which, Deku, he jolts awake. He has no idea what just happened. He doesn't know if that was real or just a dream. But for, for some reason, yeah, he is more cautious. Which, yeah, he's just... Okay, so... That was weird. Yeah. And this is actually when the doctor shows up. Oh, you're awake. That's great news. Well, your taste came back, and yes, it seems like you're ready to go home. Uh, thank you. That's that's great news. Oh, no kidding. That bite of yours, you feared the worst. It was quite nasty for something like that. Uh, all right, so uh, what about my mom? Uh, oh, she's right outside. She just showed up just to hear my news. But yeah, it go shows up. She's like, ready to go home, Muzu? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, no idea. Where's, yeah, Deku gets discharged and they go straight home. Deku, he just hears his voice in his head. He's Uku. Remember what I said. He's hearing this on loop. As they actually get home, Deku, he's trying to relax until he hears a tapping on his window. In which he actually looks and sees Takashi. Takashi, what are you doing here? You heard it, didn't you? What? Heard what? You're Alpha. In which, Deku's eyes widen at this like a... How do you know? Because... He... I know what happened to you. Can I come in? Uh, I... Uh... I guess as Deku opens his window, laying him in. Okay, so kid, let me uh, let me break this whole thing down to you for you. So you were attacked by a werewolf, in which I decided to actually step in, but before I could prevent the curse from overtaking you, yeah, I had to take you to the hospital first. Wait, what do you mean? I'm a werewolf too. Uh, what? Yeah, except I'm not a beta. I'm an omega. But what's that? Wow, you know nothing. Well, either way, here's the thing. You have alpha, beta, and omega. Alphas are the big boss, ones that the betas have to listen to, no no questions asked. Betas are like grunts, or uh, you could say uh, soldiers, while omegas are the ones without alphas, who just roam free doing whatever they want. I decided to leave my pack. So, I am an Omega. And since you have just been contacted by your Alpha, yeah, you're a you're still a Beta. Uh, so 
I had to do this guy says yes but you can refuse it would just uh, it result in your death as well as whoever associates with you or you being kicked out of the pack and there's this whole thing about it and everything so yeah but I I, I don't even know this person and so if I'm a werewolf does not mean I transform every full moon actually we can transform however we want as long as we want the full moon actually intensifies our emotions and actually forces us to shift. Okay, what about uh, silver and uh, silver garlic? Uh, hold on. First, first things first, silver, that's a myth. Garlic, that's vampires. Mm, let's see. Wolf's Bane actually doesn't kill us it actually just reveals us something within the components of that plant actually causes us to wolf out we don't really know why but uh. okay so can you explain this as Deku just shows the side and sees that yeah there's no wound there anymore he's completely healed and ah uh, that uh, yeah, you see, our healing factors are top notch. As long as there's still blood flowing, we can regrow. We can regrow pretty much anything. Hell, one time a guy actually regrew his brain after it got pretty much destroyed. <laughs> oh man, but he complained like hell afterwards. Uh. Okay, so Takashi, um, do you know who this Alpha is? Uh, I only know of one werewolf that actually operates here. I've done some jobs for him and everything, but as for knowing who he is, all I know is his name, which is Makoto. Makoto? Huh. Okay. Is he nice? As long as you do what he says, yes. But try not to get on his bad side. He isn't above threatening you. And or the people you care about. Oh yeah. And here. Be careful. Your next dream is gonna be a doozy. But, but what do you mean? Your next dream, you're gonna meet your wolf. And that is where I'm gonna end this part off. Oh man, you have no idea how many times I had to record this. Seriously, it's been a hassle and a half, man. But yeah, I decided to actually put in some of my own little water werewolf nonsense. And which, yeah, Deku is gonna go through some difficult times. In which, yeah, some of you who actually be on my Discord, you know what I'm talking about. I've told you some of what I was gonna do. And if anything, it should be at least somewhat entertaining. Let's see, what else, what else? Oh yeah, just because I'm making this one does not mean that I'm ending the other one. Oh man, I just have a lot going on. Oh yeah, some friends of mine actually wanted me to give them a little shout out. One, one of them being a Boonshy Gaming, he, he actually uh, wants me to put a link of his Twitch on, in the description, which... I uh, will if I remember. As well as, heck, this guy Wolfjin. Wolfjin. Anyway, Wolf D J N. I don't know how they say it. Without, I think I'm pretty sure I'm butchering it, but still. 
I decided to give those guys a shout out because, heck, they're cool. I, I got, I enjoy, enjoy talking to them. They're, they're all right. I like them. As well as this guy. So yes, whatever I end up doing to Deku, no matter how fucked up it is, part of it is his fault. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm out. The peace and the love, children.